Okay. Uh, I've been saying the next movie title way too many times and I crack myself up. But let's focus on the current one. Number three. War for Planet of the Apes. Now I know what you're thinking. It's not a new movie. But none of these movies are going to be new. The idea is that I've been out of a loop for six years as far as going to movies and renting since our store stopped. And I hadn't been to a library in almost 20 years. So in April I started going again. So I have just made up time in the last six, seven, eight, nine months watching almost 100 movies that I'm going to be reviewing. And this one is number three. So let's get going. War for Planet of the Apes. Now it just made under half a billion at the box office, which is pretty good. And I even say this movie was pretty good. This almost has a Holocaust type feel to it when, in which case, the apes are technically like the Jews or the other people that were put through Holocaust stuff. But uh, back then, and in the fenced in cages areas, uh, the slightly crazed colonial, colonel, whatever. I never could pronounce that word right. A.K.A. Woody Harrelson's character makes Caesar an example by having him chained out in the cold for all the other apes to see. He is, of course, eventually freed by the little by a little girl that uh, I believe that he and the orangutan rescued earlier in the film. I think they do it like early on, like within the first thirty minutes. Uh, it's a pretty good adventure of a film, and it's not bad. Now, as far as the Planet of the Apes movies go, period, it's not my favorite. And technically, I don't think I've seen the last one. I don't know if that was the last one made, but I'm pretty sure I've seen all of them now. And, well, I've seen all of the newer ones. So, I think this was the last one made. And of those, it was okay. I think it's just because I like the style of it and the winter set because it's different from all the other Planet of the Ape movies I guess because they have all been like desert and stuff so it was it was different and in that sense I liked it and I mean it was well filmed I guess they didn't try too much they didn't try too little it was just the right amount and so would I watch it again Yes, I would watch it again. Would I buy it? Probably. I would definitely try. I mean, if I saw it and it was on sale, yes, I'd go for it. Who wouldn't? Right? Uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. I, I, it's, it's not the best movie in the world. It's not the greatest. I don't like Woody Harrelson as an actor, to be 100% to be honest. Call me whatever you want. I just am not that big of a fan. I mean, he's in Zombieland, he's in, is it White Men Can't Jump or something? He's in a lot of movies. And as a serious actor that's crazy and killing people and animals and stuff, like a crazy military person, do I believe him? <sighs> Not really. But, you know, stick to comedy. You're okay. I don't know. Anyways, point of the movie is, does any ape survive? Do any of the monkeys survive? Whatever you want to call them. I don't know. I don't know. You just have to watch it yourself. Because it's pretty good. That's it. Would I watch it again? Yes. I would. Bye-bye.